Hi, Timothy Unkert from UnkertMedia.com here. If you've been following along with my Ruby tutorials up to this point, you may have noticed I skipped uh, files 21 through 23. So I jumped ahead and I forgot to talk about um, file methods in Ruby. So let's talk about that in this video. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file and I'm following along with my naming convention uh, here. So I'm going to call this file 021 underscore writing underscore 2 underscore a file dot rb. My ID will add that for me. Okay, so let's create that file. So we're going to write to a file in this, uh, use this file to write to a file. Okay, so we're going to say file equals, and then we'll start with an uppercase file dot open. And uh, I'm going to give a name for the file. It's going to be in the same folder. So we'll call it fizzbuzz. I know I do a lot of fizzbuzz. Fizzbuzz.txt. And then I'm going to give a comma here and just in quotes, a W, meaning that we are writing to the file. Okay, so I'm going to do a for loop here and we'll write to our file the fizzbuzz. So we'll say a for i in one dot dot 100 do. And we'll say if i modulo 15 divisible by 3 and 5. Uh, if the remainder of that is zero, it's divisible by three and five. We'll do file dot write. Now the file is a local variable. You see my IDE said that. And we'll do fizz buzz. And we'll also do a new line character so it doesn't get all crammed together on one line. We'll do an else if i modulo three. If the remainder of i and three is zero, we'll write to the file and we'll write just fizz with the new line character here. Also do another else if i modulo 5, if the uh, remainder of i and 5 is 0, then it's divisible by 5. We'll do file.write, um, whoops, file.write, and we'll do buzz with the new line character. And then finally, we'll do an else. We'll do file.write, and we're just going to write whatever i is. And then we'll do another file.write, just for the new line character. So we'll do file.write, and then within double quotes here, we'll do a slash n for a new line character. And then at the end of this, you want to close the file that you've opened. So you're going to do file.close, OK? And that's it. Uh, so. Now we can go ahead and we'll open up a terminal here. Let's clear that out. And I'm going to run this file. So I'm going to do Ruby, I type 0, 2, 1, hit tab to autocomplete the file name, hit enter, and you'll see it ran. And let's close this out and let's open the project view here. And we see we have this file fizzbuzz.txt. So if I click on that, we see we now have this file that we've written to, we've written the fizzbuzz challenge into a file using Ruby, okay? So not only can we write to a file, but we can also read from a file. So we're gonna create another file, and this one, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna call it, uh, it's a new Ruby file, I'm gonna call it 022, reading a, file that's with underscores dot rb again my ide will add that for me the dot rb extension um, let me close this out all right and we're going to create a local variable i could call it f this time let's say f equals file dot open uh we'll do we'll open the fizzbuzz dot txt file and then we're going to say f uh, we're going to create another variable. Let's call it f underscore data equals f dot read. Okay. And now let's just print out. We'll do puts file, uh, or sorry, f underscore data. Okay. And then again, we want to close the file that we've opened. So we're going to do f dot 
close. Okay, that's all there is to that. All right, so now let's open up the terminal. We'll do Ruby, type 022, hit tab to autocomplete the file name, hit enter, and we see we've read the fizzbuzz challenge from that file, fizzbuzz.txt, okay? So that's reading from a file, pretty straightforward in Ruby. All right, now let's go to, uh, let's create another file, and we're going to call this, um, it's going to be 023 underscore other file methods dot RB. Okay. Close out the project view. All right. So we can rename a file. So to do that, we use this keyword file, it's with the uppercase. We'll do file dot rename, and then we do the old name, so fizzbuzz.txt, and then we'll rename it Tim underscore does underscore fizzbuzz underscore two underscore often dot txt okay now let's um let's just run it all right so we'll do control t uh we'll go down here clear this all out we're going to do ruby 023 hit tab to autocomplete and hit enter and it's run and so now let's open up the project view here and we see we we don't have fizzbuzz.txt we have tim does fizzbucks fizzbuzz too often.txt. So we renamed the file. So it's as easy as that. Okay. We can also find the file size. So let's create a variable. We'll call it file underscore size equals file dot size. And then we give the name of the file. Tim does fizzbuzz too often.txt. Okay, now let's print out the file size. So we'll do puts and then file size. Okay, and we've already renamed the file, so we don't want to run it again because we don't have fizzbuzz.txt. We'll actually throw an error, so let's just comment this out. Okay, so now we'll do, we'll open up the terminal here and we'll do the up arrow to get the previous command, hit enter, and we see we have a file size of 413 uh, bytes. Okay, so that's in bytes. All right. We can check if the file already exists. So like I said, the fizzbuzz.txt uh, file was changed, so it doesn't exist now. So let's just create a variable. We'll call it fizzbuzz underscore exists. And we'll say it's equal to file dot uh, exists with a question mark here. And then we'll give the file name, which is fizzbuzz.txt, okay? All right, so now we'll print out fizzbuzz exists and see what it gives us, okay? So let's open up the terminal. Let's do the up arrow to get the previous command and hit enter. And we see false because we don't have fizzbuzz.txt anymore because we renamed it. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with file methods. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like and share it with like-minded people as it really does help the channel grow. What also helps the channel grow is making sure you hit that subscribe button. So please do that. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.